Its District Councilwoman Jerry Shipsky and her Solar Energy Task Force recently hosted their first annual Solar Energy Conference and tour at El Dorado Senior Center. Local experts and residents came together to talk about the importance of solar energy to the future of the city of Long Beach. Well, we're here today at a solar conference and tour that the 5th District Solar Energy Task Force put together. It's the first effort that this task force has undertaken. People came to hear opening remarks from Mayor Bob Foster and Councilwoman Shipsky as it kicked off the conference in hopes of bringing energy-saving awareness to the entire community. The conference was an all-day event where guests explored the latest developments in solar legislation, trends, technologies, and economics, all related with solar energy. Throughout the day, local and state experts were there to help explain why solar energy is so important to the future of Long Beach. Many people have come here today to learn how they can put solar on their own homes. There's going to be a tour of the developments in, uh, in the city, both residential and commercial. And it's a way also to learn about other sustainable projects that you can engage in, how to make your home more efficient, maybe how to drive a more efficient vehicle like this EV. And uh, I think it's great. There's probably about uh, 40 people in there, and they took their Saturday off to, to do something right for the community. Included in the conference was a panel discussion highlighting the advantages of solar energy, as well as a number of workshops covering a range of topics from how solar systems work and how they save money to how to make homes and businesses more energy efficient. The highlight of the conference was a free bus tour of solar-powered homes and facilities in the 5th Council District. The tour featured solar-friendly homes and businesses giving a first-hand look at solar panels. I had several people come to me and say, can we talk about solar energy? Did you know that we have a lot of homes that have already been retrofitted? I didn't know that. And I think that that's a real sense of, you know, we've got some homes here that people have uh, understood very early on that in order to reduce their electrical bills, this was the way to go. And as we got more into the topic, we found out, well, if they, they're doing it, maybe we need to let other people know. Along with the tour, perhaps the event that most helped bring to light the advantages of solar energy was a workshop hosted by Norma and Alan Williamson of Action Now. They shared their own experience of how they personally renovated their residence into an energy-efficient, money-saving solar home by describing the details involved as well as the challenges they encountered. They painted a realistic picture for all the participants who are considering installing solar energy. You cannot continue to use oil at the rates we're using it and expect it to last and expect nothing to happen. We have got to look at alternative fuels. We've got to, get, we've got to use every ounce of fuel, electricity, natural gas, uh, the oil, very efficiently. And we have to look at alternative fuels like solar and geothermal and wind and, uh, and, and hydrogen fuel to be able to power our lives in the future. The future is going to be for those who are much more efficient, much more wise about how they use uh, energy and to be more sustainable. You, you want to have a, the sort of the throwaway society, I think, is a thing of the past. We're going to have to reuse, we're going to have to reduce our waste stream, we're going to have to make sure that we're leaving a better place for, the, for our kids and our grandkids. The great turnout at the conference indicates that there's a growing interest in solar energy. And while we all know that the sun is an unlimited source of energy that can be tapped into in order to generate clean electricity, it's only by seeing firsthand how it's really being used on a day-to-day -day basis that most of us can seriously consider it an option. And with today's energy costs on the rise, the Solar Energy Task Force is committed to bringing this clean, sustainable form of energy to the city of Long Beach. For more information, visit www.longbeach.gov.